Hello, this is Diary of Daniel Thomas Andrew Daly for the 1st of December 2021. Okay. November. Right. Uh, there wasn't any injection that month. I did go down the street a number of times, as I usually do. Taxis, as always. Bought my tobacco. I did have uh, the community nursing starting to get involved with my legs. I don't know if I reported about this last month, but uh, community nursing has been putting bandages and applying ointment to my legs on the cellulitis scarring, and improvements have been made. And uh, they're not quite healed yet. They're not healed yet, but they're slowly improving, and it's 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 being taken care of by community nursing which is arranged by Margaret from Mental Health and Tuggeron for the most part. So um, things, are, things are improving. I also was um, got uh, taken down to Tuggeron by Dale down to the Mental Health Centre for the Lymph Node Clinic, which is an outpost, uh, a nurse from the, I think, Calvary Chapel in uh, the hospital, the Catholic Hospital in, in Bruce in Belconnen. Uh, is it Bruce? I think it's Bruce. So in Belconnen, anyway. Um, she had a look at my legs because there's sl there, there's some issues there, and um, I've got some more information on that sort of stuff to do with my legs and the slight puffiness in the the legs, and um, some some suggestions were made, and it's information which I'm slowly processing. Uh, apart from that, there was I accomplished my objectives with Noah High Books and Noah High Videos Bible. Um, Noah High Books got the quota of words which I set myself done, and Noah High Videos Bible got the quota of videos which I set myself done. So everything was accomplished well enough, and it's it's getting to the point now that for December I've been doing this this quota thing for a year and a half to for a while now, and. Um, thinking today for the most part that last night as well that sort of thing for the quota mentality is probably just about finished um mostly probably just as they come along if, if i get an inclination well enough now to do a video or write some more story i'll do that if i get an inclination well enough if i if i choose to but I'm sort of thinking that the quota work is probably done because there's generally enough information and teaching and knowledge which has been taught in the name of Karad out of my Noahid faith now that I don't have to go on about it forever necessarily. It was generally enough. But if an inclination comes along and I, I get impassioned or motivated or something to do a project or another, I'll go on with it. Normally, I suppose, theoretically, it sort of slowly it will probably roll along. It's it's probably something I probably commit to slowly, possibly, I guess. It might just roll along at a, a slow pace now. And there's also the possibility that business as usual, if these inclinations come each day or regularly throughout the week, it might sort of roll along as it's sort of traditionally done. I think the quota idea is probably gone now, but the reality might be it might roll steadily on because this is, this is what I'm accustomed to vis-a-vis -vis the traditions I sort of have built into my life, the, the habits, as they were, the habits of powerful people sort of book and not knowledge, but these are the habits which I've grown accustomed to and it's traditionally sort of how I spend my days going along doing videos and writing stories and just on we go, on we go with the things that I do. So. Out of habit, it might continue sort of going through the motions for a while yet. And it, you never know the quota ID. If by the end of December I've sort of done done the quota without deliberately trying to do it, then I might say, oh, I suppose I'll go on with it. I, I don't know. Don't really know. But for the time being, today anyway, my thinking is I'm, I'm not sure if, if I'm committing to any more necessarily at all, really. Just whatever sort of comes along. So, yeah, so what happened in, um, in December also was, uh, November, uh, 
my regular meals. There was no romances going on. Um, not no real social activity went on. Um, a few things with community nursing and uh, an occupational therapist had discussions with me, and I'm waiting on the details on that. But um, I think I got my second COVID injection jab this this month just passed early on, or it might have been the previous month. I'm not really sure. And uh, nothing else. Uh, visitors to the house. Rob, I think Rob came this month, about three weeks ago or something like that. Robert Preston. I don't think it was last month. It could have been last month now. But I think it was this month, about about two or three weeks ago, Rob Rob showed up, Robert Preston. So he did eventually show up. And he chatted with me here in this room and uh, uh, stayed a while. And then we chatted with him. The usual sort of scenario went on. Shared scriptures with him. I think this time it was... It was something from the Rainbow Torah, early Genesis. Genesis, this could have been the Cain and Abel story this time, and I think it might have been, or it might have been something else. I think it was the Cain and Abel, Genesis 4, I think I we, we, uh, he, I, I played on YouTube to him. I think it was Genesis 4. And Rob took a bit of interest and gave a bit of an elaboration on it. I think that was what happened this time, yeah. Don't think it was the time previous, I think it was this time that we did that. So Rob showed up, and no one else really came to visit me, but uh, uh, Bridget's been here. Um, Bridget might have visited throughout the month. Can't quite recall for sure. Anyway, Mum's had uh, Mum's done her things and been to doctors and things, and she's had uh, she's been given a TV, a new TV from I think it's Carol Kidd up the road in Twenty Nine Merriman Crescent, the ghost of the same church as Mother Catholic Church. And uh, she's going to drop it around one of these days. And apparently something like a DVD player or something like that is also going to be dropped around. We've no huge need for a TV player at the moment. We've got one in the living room and the lounge room. But it might go into mum's room. And um, yeah, she probably is. She needs an antenna or something to get it going, I think. And if it's a DVD player, we sort of have them. But um, another one won't really hurt. So they're apparently arriving soon enough. Uh, Sue Gray came around and took mum a few places and, uh, her father, Tom, who lives, who lives occasionally in Australia because he's from the UK, he's in, he's, Tom actually is, I can't remember his surname, Sue Gray is married, of course, well, separated now, whatever it is, but, um, her dad, Tom something or other, I can't quite remember, it's, he's in Bridget's, Bridget Bridges' 48th birthday party at Casarina Sands video on this network. Uh, Tom's one of the old men at the beginning of the video. You see him occasionally in the video. And um, he he borrowed our Bible, actually. Uh, Sue came down and borrowed it from us because Tom wanted to read the Bible and they didn't have one up there. And uh, it's it's going to be returned one of these days, I would imagine. But he's just borrowed the, the family, family Bible, I suppose, which is a copy from the church anyway, which they were allowed to take. And it's a new revised standard version of a Catholic version of the Bible. And that happened. and But not not really any other visitors dropped around. And um, mostly quiet times. It wasn't really Scorpio season, I suppose, according to Sarah Verba. And um, I'm a Scorpio born 20th. My birthday, of course, on the 20th. And... Um, Quiet celebration. Got a bottle of schnapps again. I've got the empty bottle over there. But it's, but it's got schnapps. And uh, uh, a card which was homemade by mum. I asked for a homemade card and she did do it. And that's down in my collection. So I do have a homemade birthday card. I've got the last few years birthday cards. I've kept them now. And um, I prefer a homemade one because it's a bit of a personal touch. And there's some effort's been put into it. A card bought from the shops is okay. Don't get me wrong. You know, buying birthday cards from the store is normally what we often do as humans. But I, I like the personal touch. And, um, yeah, she put a little message in there about something regarding a pottery I had as a kid, which we still have. <clears throat> so that was nice. But apart from that, there wasn't any cake this time, just some nice sort of chocolate biscuits or some sort of things which were, were, were nice for my birthday. But it was a quiet thing and nothing much else happened. So I turned 49 on the 20th, but uh, all things considered, mostly a quiet month, uh, got the work done, the same old sort of stuff happened, 
And at this stage, um, it's probably for the most part in reality, probably approximately more of the same I'm expecting, I guess. I haven't really concluded on any major, major alternative plans yet. So for the most part, it's business as usual, but that's, that's the update on my life events and, um, yeah, cheese.